Here we have a system of equations, and we're going to use the elimination method to solve this system. When you're using elimination, the goal is to get one of the variables to cancel out, to eliminate either the x or the y. So when you use elimination, the first thing you do is just align your equations up vertically. So I'm going to write the first one here, and then I'm going to write the second one right below it. So you want to have everything lined up. You have your x's lined up, y's are lined up, equal signs are lined up, and your constants are lined up. Once you have everything lined up, you're going to add your two equations together. So you're going to add straight down. You have two x's plus three more, that's five x. I have a plus one y plus a negative one y, that equals zero y. So if you want to write zero y here, you can, or you can just leave that blank since that's just zero. And what happened is when we added these, our y's canceled out. We eliminated the y's, and we're left with this equation here that only has an x in it. So I can rewrite this. I can get rid of this 0y because that's just 0. And this leaves me an equation that I can solve for x. So I can undo this multiplying by 5 by dividing both sides by 5. That tells me that x equals 3. A common mistake is for students to find one of the variables and then just put that as the answer and say, oh, the answer is 3. But what you have to remember is that with a system, you have two variables, and so your answer is going to be an ordered pair. We need to find the x and the y, and we've just found the x-coordinate of our point. So we know our answer is going to be 3 something. Now we need to figure out what the y value will be. Once you have one variable, you're going to go back to the original system and you're going to plug in the 3 for x into either equation. It doesn't matter which one you use, um, just pick whichever one looks easier to you. So I'm going to use this first one here. So I know that 2x plus y equals 10 and I just found out that x is 3, so I'm going to plug in 3 for x. This gives me an equation with just a y in it, so I can solve this now for y. 2 times 3 is 6, so this gives me 6 plus y equals 10. I can subtract 6 from both sides, and that tells me that y equals 4. So put that in here, and that tells me that the answer is the ordered pair 3, 4. The good thing about systems is that you can always check your answer. So you're going to want to go back to the equation that you didn't use in the last step, and you're going to plug in your values for x and y. So I'm going to take out the x and replace it with a 3, and take out the y and replace it with a 4, and then I need to make sure that this comes out to 5. If you plug in your values and it comes out to something other than 5, say equals 8 or something, that means that you made a mistake somewhere along the way. So if it doesn't work when you check it, go back, usually to the beginning, make sure you don't drop a negative sign somewhere along the way or make an addition error um, and see if you can find your mistake. Um, but in our case, 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 minus 4 does equal 5. So that means that we did get the right answer. So our answer to this system is the ordered pair 3, 4.